Hello, my name is Bohdan Dan Marfei, and I'm representing Ukrainian Pavilion at the Edmonton Heritage Festival here in Canada. And today we will talk about Ukrainian settlement in Canada. On September 7, 1881, two residents of the village Nebili in Halichina, Ivan Polipiv and Vasily Yelenyak, immigrated to Canada and created the first and the largest Ukrainian settlement in Canada. It is now located in the province of Alberta. Historians distinguish four waves of Ukrainian immigration to Canada. During that time, Ukrainian settlers made a tremendous impact on economical, political and multicultural growth of the Maple Leaf country. First wave of Ukrainian immigration occurred between 1891 and 1914. During this time, about 180,000 Ukrainians arrived in Canada. Most of them were poorly educated villagers from Western Ukrainian ethnic parts of Europe and were members of different European countries. With the start of the First World War in 1914, the Canadian government arrested more than 5,000 Ukrainians, seized their property and placed them in concentration camps, only because they had Austro-Hungarian passports. In the war, Canada fought on the side of England against Austria, Hungary and Germany. The most unfortunate thing for Ukrainians is that they didn't have to do anything with the Austro-Hungary and their war with neighbors, just because they were the victims of their statelessness. The government of Canada apologized to the Ukrainians almost 100 years later. My name is Andrew Ladyshevsky. As president of the Ukrainian Canadian Foundation of Taras Shevchenko, I was involved in the creation of the Canadian First World War Internment Recognition Fund. When I was six years old, my father, Miroslav, took us to the Mount Revelstoke and Castle Mountain internment camps. He explained to us Ukrainians had been imprisoned there. Now, as a six-year-old, I didn't fully understand what that meant, but I knew, tramping through the bush with my father, that it was important. I stumbled across my father's archives. It's a collection of stories about the first 30 years of Ukrainians in the city of Calgary. Also in these archives were many stories about Ukrainians and others who were interned in the First World War. And on November 23rd, 2005, an amended version of Bill C-331 passed a unanimous resolution of the House of Commons. A few days later, the Senate passed the amended Interment of Persons of Ukrainian Origin Restitution Act just prior to the fall of the Martin government. At the same time, about 10,000 Ukrainians from Canada fought in the Canadian Army. One of them, Philip Conoval, received one of the highest military awards, the Victoria Cross. Second wave of Ukrainian immigration occurred from 1923 to 1939. During this time, about 70,000 Ukrainians came to Canada. Most of them were already educated. Many of them participated in the armed struggle for Ukraine's independence. A few managed to escape Holodomor, an artificial famine of 1932-1933. It was a genocide against Ukrainian people by Soviet regime. Between 7 and 10 million people died as a result of it. Cowards, the ruled Soviet government, kept in secret for almost 60 years. The first public monument to the Holodomor was erected here in Canada, in Edmonton, just outside the city hall in 1983. Since then, the fourth Saturday in November has in many jurisdictions been marked as the official day of remembrance for people who died as a result of Holodomor and political repression. Third wave lasted from 1945 to 1952. Post-World War II to 1991, most Ukrainians coming to Canada were political refugees or displaced persons. Fourth wave goes from 1991 till present. This wave of immigrants arrived from already independent Ukraine that came after the USSR collapsed. The vast majority of them were educated and professionally trained people. According to the last census, there are 1,359,655 people with Ukrainian roots in Canada, 369,000 live in the province of Alberta, which is approximately 10% of the total population of the province. 
Nowadays, Ukrainians and Canadians show reciprocal love and respect to each other. Ukrainians are proud to call Canada their new home. And as a representative of the latest immigration, I am grateful to those who paved the way before us. I believe it is our duty to stay united and keep contributing to the well-being of Canada and Ukraine. Thank you. Slava Ukraini. Glory to Ukraine and glory to Canada.